right guys, um, today we've got an unboxing for you of two Nespresso um, ice coffee related products and that's the barista shaker and also the barista ice tray and um, so we'll get the, each one of these products open now so you can get a closer look we'll explain what they're made of the dimensions etc so let's start with the, then with the barista shaker now this is 26 pounds for the standard version before we pull it out of its box i thought i'd just show you that it's covered in paper and also the pa the packaging it says it's from responsible sources so i'm guessing that's recyclable and um, let's pull the shaker out now to get our first look at it Quite nicely packaged up when I used I've done a lot of unboxings on this channel and they came in big black boxes, didn't they? And um, so it's nice to see they've gone down a more recyclable route. Um, but yeah, let's have a let's get this out of its packaging. And that's our first look at the Nespresso Barista Shaker. You can see it's got a logo on the top, a little bit of branding. It's made of stainless steel, it's a brushed finish. So even though it is a brush finish, it is still susceptible to fingerprints. Uh, the first thing my wife noticed when she picked it up a second ago is that she's spotted a fingerprint on there. So it doesn't prevent that. It's a Thomas Krell design and it's also made in China. So we've got two access points to get into it. You can open it up. It's a bit stiff because it's brand new. You can open it up from there and that allows you to get some nice big ice cubes inside because if you were putting them in just from the top, that'd be a worry, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, you can fit some decent sized ice cubes in there. You can also open it up from the lid. Inside is a built-in half filter uh, to control your crema as it comes out. It just allows a more even uh, distribution of crema when you're pouring the drink out. So say you're doing like an espresso martini or perhaps a shaker auto. We've done an espresso martini on the channel in the past. I'll link to that above now. And we're going to be trying a shaker auto soon as well. Um, so do follow us and subscribe and like the video. Um, but yeah, it just helps with the, to be able to have a bit more evenly distributed crema. The capacity it can hold, by the way, is 600 millilitres and inside the lid here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's also some measurements there for a 30 mil probably shot of liquor or something or a 45 mil or of espresso, obviously. Just a couple of interesting points from the leaflet that came with it. Um, it just says that it's not designed to take carbonated drinks. It's not designed to take hot drinks, um, but it does mention pouring warm espresso, doesn't it? Is that what it says there? It says that you can pour a hot liquid onto a layer of ice cubes or liquid that's at room temperature. Yeah, so maybe cool your espresso down a little bit or pour it over ice, um, but it's not designed to contain just hot liquid. On the website, it is listed as dishwasher safe, um, but also be sure to, well, if you do clean it by hand, don't clean it with an abrasive material. That's also in the little instruction booklet that they sent with it. So the reason we say not to clean it, or they say not to clean it with an abrasive material is, as you can see, we've just put it down on the table and the coating has started to come off. Uh, so do be careful how you clean it. You can see that happen there. I just thought it might be a good idea to actually show you a cheaper um, shaker that we bought years ago to make a couple of our videos from Amazon, just to give you an idea in the quality difference between the two and the size difference as well. So now onto the barista ice tray then. This one's a Federico Perry design. Again, the packaging is the same um, as the last box that we looked at. Let's get that open and have a look. So this one's a green color. So this one costs eight pound uh, for a single tray. Um, but obviously again, it's eligible for a discount if you're, if you're eligible for a discount. The other Nespresso ice cube trays that we reviewed on the channel, I have to say they've been really, really good, haven't they, Abby? They pop really easily out of this silicone lining, but they are slightly different to this. I'll show you in a minute, because this one has like a lined edge which produces a bit of a ribbed effect on the ice cubes. They're also smaller, so easier to handle, um, and they look a bit better in the glasses because the other ones are absolutely massive. In fact, I'll get the other tray now and I'll show you just about what the size difference is. And just to mention, it says made in Italy for the ice cube tray, um, and also it's made from silicone. The dimensions then, it's 26 millimeters high and we've got the Nespresso branding on the front there. Um, it's 146 millimeters long and then 119 millimetres wide. So there are nine, nine ice cubes in there at 30 grams each. And this also gives you an idea of the difference in shape of the, of the ice cubes. One thing I have found from using the Nespresso ice cube trays is they've been really good as you could take them out of the freezer for a few seconds and the ice cubes just pop out nice and easily, no banging it around, you know, to get them out. Uh, they really are quite good to use. I've seen people also pouring fruit juices in and freezing that to put in drinks with maybe tonic water. Um, and also shots of espresso over the top. So that's a nice idea to try. Um, but yes, there are different things you can do with it, not just freeze water. If you do get hold of uh, either of these products, don't forget, don't forget to wash it thoroughly before use uh, to get rid of any, any chemicals. So yeah, do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments what you think of these products and how you use them. Uh, do you have any good recipes for them? Um, but thanks for watching and bye for now.